Welcome to this new Adon Spotlight. In this Adon Spotlight, we're gonna look at Luang Prabang Airport, which is an airport which is located four kilometers from the center of Luang Prabang, uh, which is located uh, in the northern part of uh, Laos. Uh, the airport itself is offering both domestic and international flights, and it only has, I would say, one uh, terminal building. It has a few jetways, uh, so. Um, Let's have a look at all the details. Uh, this is the terminal building, as you can see. So uh, let's go to it. And while hovering to it, we will fly back from the uh, tower. Uh, the tower, unfortunately, uh, you can go in it, but there's no, I would say, real added value to it currently. Uh, for example, we can't look, uh, look from it. Here's our airport uh, or airplane located. And here we have the terminal building. Uh, as you can see, uh, two jetways, and other than that, there are some, I would say, spots for um, smaller aircrafts, also a uh, pushback truck, and a smaller pushback truck are in. Uh, for the terminal building, the same thing is applicable, right? You can't go in it, or you can go in it, but there's really nothing, uh, nothing there. Uh, other than that, you can see that the uh, details from both the jetway and the building itself are pretty, uh, pretty nice. Uh, some, some right, nice uh, borders uh, or indicators will, which will give you an indication where you can go to. Here we've got the. Uh, parking slot or the ramp ramps as we call them uh, on the back of the aircraft there's a or aircraft there airport actually there's a small uh, parking lot and as you can see the I would say type of building is really in the style of uh, of Laos it's really nice uh, some I would say it's probably one of, well not one of the most nicest but it's a nice airport uh, if you look at it uh, runway itself, uh, it has one runway, so let's go quickly to it. Um, as you can see, uh, there are some other buildings uh, next to it, also some uh, smaller uh, tower and uh, terminal building. So here's the runway, right? So uh, this runway 05, as you can see, uh, there are some uh, buildings besides it and some nice water. Uh, if you would look at the landing, then you will probably will fly over the city and then we'll end up at runway 05. If we go to the other part of the uh, runway, you can see that that one, I would say, here's some mountains uh, pretty close to the uh, runway. And eventually you will end up at uh, the runway here. Uh, the things which are uh, not implemented here yet, and also not sure if they're, I would say, part of the normal airport are the taxiways. So here's runway uh, 23, as you can see. Uh, so let's uh, fly back and uh, let's look at that other uh, small building uh, which we found on our way to the end of the runway. So again, here are some uh, parking spots, um, some normal ways, and then here we've got the uh, Let's say smaller tower and also um, let's say smaller parts or parking lots for the aircraft. So probably this is used for the domestic part, maybe. Not 100% sure. It can be that, of course, both parts are being used. Uh, or both buildings are being used for that. Uh, but again, if you would go into clo close to it, right, like we're doing now, you can see there's a lot of detail being added uh, to the building itself. Uh, so all in all, it's a nice addition, right? If you are looking for some new airports uh, in APAC, then this is probably something which could be added to your wish list because it's a nice one. And as you can see, there's a lot of beautiful scenery around it. So you can both use the airliners, but also the smaller aircrafts uh, to fly around. Here ends this add-on spotlight. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.